All right. Uh, let me shut my office door here real quick. Oh. <laughs> Keeps the sounds of the family at bay while I'm trying to do videos. No, I love working at home, guys. It's a great thing. As a matter of fact, um, uh, blogging is one of the perfect platforms to start with. Uh, I think blogging and video marketing. So before we get into any ideas about uh, blogging income, I want you to understand that you are going to have to learn a little bit about search engine optimization, search engine marketing, and including things like social media and, and video marketing into your blog presence, your website presence, as far as uh, uh, generating any type of success is going to happen here. Um, so let's get on with this. No, I'm not going to wear a scary mask today. <laughs> some people joke around because some of my videos I have like, Ma I've come out with a mask on or something, but my kids leave the darndest toys around my office sometimes, so yeah, you never know with me. Uh, but I can tell you what, you can know this with me, that I'm going to give you some real good information right now. We're going to start running over together um, just some good ideas about, uh, uh, you know, to come up with for blogs that could generate some good traffic and good income. Let's start off with the basics though. The first thing that you have to do uh, when it comes to, you know, getting the, you know, getting your blog together and everything else, make sure you get the right mindset, okay, before you come up with any ideas. <laughs> Uh, for you know the income and the money you can make with the blog, get the idea of the blog together first. Don't worry about the money. So like I always tell people, finding success online is just happy. is It's just a happy side effect of solid internet marketing skills applied. So the thing is, is get the idea of of uh, uh, setting up that blog, getting that thing put together, and everything else. Um, Let's go through with some ideas. First off, there's some very basic platforms out here from which you can generate an income. Uh, the number one is going to be affiliate. Uh, this is basically um, where you're going to partner yourself with places like Amazon, uh, Commission Junction, JVZoo. Uh, if you're into online marketing products, you go to JVZoo, uh, ClickBank. Um, you can go to uh, Commission Junction and places like this. This is where you can go and you can kind of affiliate yourself, you affiliate yourself with some different products and services and stuff like that. The next thing you know, uh, if you want to, maybe you already have a, a certain product or service um, that you would like to actually promote yourself online. Uh, I think that's a wonderful thing too. As a matter of fact, this could actually be even more rewarding sometimes. Um, I guess I would say in a faster fashion than even affiliate marketing. It really, really can. Um, just having your own product and service and everything else. But really, honestly, getting down to it, this is really the two main staples of making and generating an income online, as far as blogging is concerned, is by coming up with your own product or service or affiliating yourself with some product or service out there already. Um, so let's kind of go over some of these different ideas and things like that. Um, you know, you probably already have some sort of idea in your mind of what you think you want to do. Some people sit there and they come up with these ideas because they see things online. Like you see, oh, this affiliate software, this program, this dude, this guy, this lady, um, and all that stuff. Um, you know what? Here's the deal. You know what I think the best thing to do is find out what your hobby is. Things that you like to do. Find a hobby. What is your hobby? What do you like to do? Rock climbing? Surfing? Maybe it's just uh, you like to write. Hey, you can teach people how to write good blogs, good content. Uh, maybe you were a teacher. Maybe you were an attorney. Maybe you worked for the IRS. Um, <laughs> but either way, anything that you've done in your life, a hobby, um, maybe your, uh, um, your business background. We'll put that down here real quick. Sorry, I'm kind of losing you there for a second, huh? Uh, maybe your business background, what you've done with your life. Okay, so we've got some, we've got a hobby here that you might like fishing, camping, hiking, whatever it is. Maybe it's a business back, background. Maybe you work, you know, you you owned a carpet cleaning business forever, or maybe you started one, or whatever it is, and you started thinking, well, you know, I can sit here and generate some income online just by basically finding a hobby and then start blogging about it. I mean, really, that's it. What you're going to do is you're going to take, I think it's easier to take um, as far as generating a, a good, you know, getting some good ideas for building a blog around it, building an income around that blog, is by just doing something 
and talking about something that you are familiar with. Okay? One L or two L's, I don't know. Who cares? Um, but the thing is, is find something that you're familiar with, guys. Uh, as a matter of fact, I have people out here who love sports. Oh, <laughs> go figure. Uh, I'm a huge Red Sox fan. Um, but the thing is, is that uh, they got out there and they started blogging about certain things like, like sports. They started talking about baseball. But what they did is they did something that was, uh, I think, very key to coming up with that idea for a blog and idea for an income with that blog is they got specific about certain things. It's nice to have a, a website and a blog about, start blogging about baseball, and I think that's a wonderful thing, or blogging about fishing, or blogging about whatever it is. But here's another deal. What if you got a little bit more specific with that? As a matter of fact, if you got a little bit more targeted with your niche and actually finding niche out here as far as that idea is concerned, um, I think that that's a better way and your chances of success are going to be a lot higher. I've had people sit out there and they got into a baseball blog. And what they did though was they started specifically, uh, they, well, they just got specific. That's what they did. They got into like best pitchers of all time and, up, you know, and uh, today's pitchers. Um, so they started talking about pitching. Everything that has to do around pitching and baseball and everything else. And they really started marketing different affiliate products and things like that from that website and did very well. I had people that got in there and just did uh, outdoors. Okay, They had a generic outdoors local blog. But what they did is they focused on just a, a few things in the outdoors. Fishing, camping, and hunting. That's what they did. Now there's other people out here. You might not be a hunter or fisher and don't want to kill a pretty little animal. Um, but uh, maybe you get into things like rock climbing and hiking and, and maybe wilderness photography. Um, I mean, it can be anything like that. The thing is, is what you're doing is you're, what you're going to try to do here is that you're going to find a particular thing that interests you. Don't, don't worry about what interests you. You know, there's so many people out here trying to teach you to go, go where the traffic is, go where the... Make traffic, create a buzz. There's already buzz around fishing. <laughs> you don't really have to create that. It's already there. But let's just take outdoors, for instance. Let's go with the outdoors, and that's what is on your mind right now about creating uh, an income stream through blogging, through a, a blog. So let's just start going off with different things that we can actually specifically target. So we've got hiking. We've got uh, uh, fishing. We've got, uh, let's see, uh, uh, camping. So we've got some of these major things out here. We can also start breaking some of this, these things down. Inside of your content, it doesn't mean that you can't sit there and talk a little bit about other hunting aspects. Doesn't mean that you can't talk a little bit about hiking. Just like you did right over here. Over here, it doesn't mean that you can't talk a little bit about camping and staying along the places that you hike. See, the thing is, though, is that we're going to get specific right off the bat with that blog. We're going to get specific. And then what we're going to do is we're going to stay on subject by using little tiny subjects that have to do with the main subject of that idea. Okay? You want to do that in a website and a blog. It's just good SEO practices, good SEM practices. You know, you don't want to be heading off all over the place. Trust me. You don't want to be heading, all over the play, all, uh, heading off all over the place with your website or your blog. But the thing is, is that when we just get a basic blog about the outdoors, um, I mean, that's pretty general. And I think that generalities as far as a website is concerned, like I have davidjboozer.com. This is all about online marketing for beginners. But I have another one that's basically based around blogs and search engine marketing uh, for ebloggerpro.com right here. I also have other websites. I'm working on a website right now about Bigfoot. <laughs> I know. But it's fun. You know, I live here in the Pacific Northwest, and I think it'd be a wonderful thing and a really fun thing to do is to get out there and make some of those crazy videos stomping through the forest, you know, trying to find the elusive Bigfoot. Seriously, because why? Bigfoot has a buzz to it. It's had a buzz to it for almost 50 years now. Uh, unless you get really crazy and go back into history and people start talking about it. But the thing is, is that it's got some sort of buzz around it, especially where I live. So I took a niche blog of Bigfoot, and then what I did is I'm going to make it specifically targeted to where I live in the Pacific Northwest. 
So do you see what I'm saying? So I'm going to get a lot more specific with it. This really targets your traffic and that's how you're going to find success with any blogging idea that you can possibly come up with. Get specific about that idea. Get specific about it. And remember, you guys have to learn a little bit of SEO and SEM and all those little tiny things. But I'll tell you what, they're extremely simple to learn. They're so simple to learn, in fact, I did it. <laughs> and if I can do this, you can do this. It is not that difficult, guys. I'm just a normal guy out here who makes a very good living online. And the thing is, is that it's very simple to do. You just got to get out there and target your traffic. Find out what that target, tar uh, find out what, where that target traffic is, based around something that you already know. It's hard to go out there and, you know, start coming up with ideas based on other people's stuff, and you have no idea what that stuff is about. Start with something you know, because people, you're not the only one that likes it. <laughs> There's probably thousands, if not millions, of people out here who love to go fishing, love to go Bigfoot hunting, maybe a hundred thousand. Um, it doesn't matter, but you're hitting a niche. A little niche that's going to sit there and be specifically targeted, that's going to be your traffic. That's the best idea for creating and getting into blogging. If you want to generate an income from blogging, you want to get specific. You want to get specific with that blog. You want to stay on subject. You want to create good, rele relevant content, good content that, want, that people want to link to and people want to know more about. That's the best way to sit there and do this. So I hope I helped you know that uh, I helped you out with all of this. Um, get specific with your ideas. Now that you're starting to get the juices flowing, and maybe you're now you're focused on okay, what do I like? What do I like to do? What do I know? And and now all of a sudden, uh, I think what you need to do is find out what you really, really, really are passionate about, and then start really singling out one of those specific passions within that general passion, and really start hitting it home with the blog. No matter what, guys, uh, get out there and learn how to build and brand and manage yourself online. Get your blogging going. I don't care if it's here. I don't care where it is. I don't care if you buy a book about it. Just get it done and go do it. Generating a simple side income or replacing your income online is very simple to do. It just takes a little bit of time and some effort from you. And I'm serious, guys. You can totally do this. It's very, very easy. Anyways, no matter what, God bless.